Hi, my name is Jeff Chilton, and I'm the president of Namex, North American Medicinal Mushroom Extracts. I'd like to talk to you today about the difference between mushrooms and mycelium. And this is a very important subject because if you want to get the most health benefits from your mushroom product, you really need to pay careful attention to the form of the product and how it's produced. I'm in a greenhouse right now that's growing shiitake mushrooms and these mushrooms are being grown on sawdust logs. A mushroom is actually called a fruiting body and it's just one stage of a fungal organism that's called a basidiomycete and there's actually a number of different stages and that's what we want to talk about today is the different stages of this basidiomycete organism. This is a diagram of the basidiomycete life cycle. In the top center are spores which germinate into hyphae and the hyphae will fuse together and form a large network called mycelium. And this mycelium is actually the vegetative body of this organism and its role is to absorb enough nutrients that allow it to produce a mushroom. Now when conditions are right, a small hyphal knot will form which develops into a primordium and then a pinhead, a button, and the various stages of the mushroom until it has gills that are fully developed and producing billions of spores and at that point the life cycle is complete. If I want to grow mushrooms, the first step is to get a pure culture of mycelium. And you can do that either from mushroom tissue, from spores, or oftentimes you can get a mycelial culture from a culture bank. Pure mycelium is what a mushroom grower will use as seed and this mycelium is put onto a carrier material and at that point it is called mushroom spawn. Grain is a commonly used carrier material. In this instance I have cooked some wheat grain which is sterilized, inoculated with the pure culture of mycelium and once it has grown out and completely colonized the grain, it is now called grain spawn. In 1979, I attended an international conference on mushroom cultivation in France, and while I was there, I visited one of the largest mushroom spawn manufacturers in the world. I'd like to just show you how they were making the, sp the spawn, because it's really an interesting process. In this particular slide, they are filling the cooked grain into autoclavable plastic bags. In the next step, they're going to put these bags onto a rack, and then that rack is going to be moved into an autoclave. And in that autoclave, the grain is going to be sterilized so that it, it provides a um, environment for the mycelium to grow unopposed. Once out of the autoclave, the bags are put on a conveyor belt and as they pass they are inoculated with the pure mycelium. The bags are then sealed, put back on a rack, and then they are transferred into an incubation room where the mycelium will grow out and colonize the grain. Now that the grain is completely colonized, it can be boxed and uh, it's ready to send out to the mushroom grower. It is now what is considered to be pure culture grain spawn. The manufacture of grain spawn was developed by Dr. James Sinden of Penn State University in 1932. So this is a process that has been going on for almost a hundred years um, 
And again, this is uh, simply a very, very effective way to transfer a pure culture of mycelium into a substrate to then grow mushrooms. Oddly enough, some companies now grow grain spawn and sell this grain spawn as a nutritional supplement. And despite the fact that in this slide it looks like there is quite a bit of mycelium, if you break that mycelium up, you will find that you still have mostly grain in this product. And so these companies that are producing mycelium on grain or grain spawn are actually primarily selling grain powder. This is shiitake plug spawn, mycelium grown out on wooden dowels and it's very well grown in the left hand jar but once you shake that jar up the mycelium gets beaten down and you can see it's mostly the wooden dowel that you're left with. So this is just another example of growing mycelium on, a, on material, whether it be grain or wood. And what you're really left with in these products is the material that the mycelium has grown on. So what is called mycelium and sold by many companies as mushroom is actually grain spawn a product grown in a laboratory on a sterile grain or rice. If you've bought a mycelium product, just taste it. It will taste mildly sweet, kind of like breakfast cereal. These products, as you can imagine, are mostly starch. They have few, if any, of the medicinal compounds which you expected to get when you bought it. On the other hand, a mushroom product will have a distinctly mushroomy smell and flavor. Shiitake is very aromatic and powerful smelling. So is maitake. Reishi has a bitter flavor. The difference is night and day. And mushrooms are rich in the medicinal compounds. So when you're looking for a mushroom product, look carefully and be aware that some products are not really mushrooms.